So, hello everybody. This time we have a problem. The BMW first series, it won't start. It's cranking, but there is no start. So, problem is probably in somewhere. If we go to see the full menu list, if you're interested in this launch diagnostic, not the crashed screen. But anyway, what we see, we have cast engine start operation, operation failure, basically. Uh, one fault in here, which is A0B4. It's in the cast. The engine control unit says the immobilizer system and 2F44, the CMO system and fuel injectors. And probably somebody told us then it can be uh, ECU bad or stuff like that. But first of all, uh, we need to find out the problem cast synchronization with the engine control unit. That's uh, what you have to do now is go back and you have here special functions you go by special functions and then you have to find out which one you you need you can go to the drive and uh, probably uh, see cast adjustments as you can see here and we have plenty of stuff what you can do you see cast reset and stuff like that blah 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 and probably we go to the cast adjustments and uh, it says fault code storage the tester function, uh, container service functions and service functions. It says container service function. And there we have C then. Um, so basically program starting value of a new DMA only possible only once per DMA. Adjust reset starting value and service functions. So adjust and reset starting value. And perform terminal change after then term next. Okay. So it says establishes the following conditions on the vehicle. Switch on terminal 15 ignition after all the conditions have been proceeded on the vehicle operation next. So ignition is on, all as you can see is on. Now we go continue button and we waiting till procedure is going to be to done. So to receive starting values. Okay, so we go by next. And as you can see, when wait until uh, mine relay has dropped out. Terminal 50 on, uh, terminal 15 off. Uh, it says starting values reset was successfully. So switch it off. Wait until relay has dropped out. Uh, this means the main relay, the main relay in the relay box. And uh, then you just click on and engine can be started again. Exactly. So that's what we need to find out if it's going to be work now. So it says continue. And service function finish it so it should be start possible with the engine so let's crank the engine and the car starts normally and all the way with you without the stopping so definitely as you can see if you need the launch diagnostic which one can definitely start your engines and get your fault codes on just stay Q, contact us and all gonna be perfect we have some blinking check engine light because of problem so um okay we go back we go back go back and uh, automatically search and uh, we need to scan all car now but actually another thing is we need to stop probably the engine to do a full uh code delete we have a win number stuff like that so switch it gone act gonna end and on again Sorry for my English, it's not very good, but anyway, I would like to try as much as I can. And that uh, the BMW car is pretty much a long scanning a little bit. So probably I would like to press the pause button, but not at all. As you can see how fast is the launch. The launch diagnostic gives you full power, full potential. Okay, can you stop the car because the smoke coming out from the engine? What a fuck? Stop it, stop it, please stop it. Switch on ignition. I don't know the smoke coming somewhere, so let's open the bonnet. The car brings us from with the trailer. The tra oh, fuck. you can't see in the video, but definitely let's go a hilt report. Don't forget to switch on the engine, otherwise you will not gonna able to scan all the fault codes. At uh, the same times, sometimes you get the more problem if you too much cranking. You can't start your car. You crank, 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 crank. Your battery dies, and you get these fault codes on, and all is fucked up. When the fucked up, it's fucked up. Sorry for my language again. I would like to not say so many bad words, but anyway, you can't do nothing with it. Just keep scanning. I'm gonna open the bonnet and see what we have there. Some, come on, launch, do it. As you can see, we still have a fault codes, but that's not a big deal because you have a clear DTC button. Yes, that's the solution. Press it and you get no fault codes. Just delete, 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 delete. Run all the way through. The blinking check engine light, because you said that 
injector is bad and that's what client said which one brings us car so let's say hello everybody to Patrix. hello when the fucked up it's fucked up let's hello to Rivis. Rivis, tell us true tell everybody true what the fuck is this don't forget to make your head off with this if the cylinders is bad okay we are under the bonnet and what we see here uh this is a not the diesel engine is particular petrol engine with the four cylinders on and there is a faulty injector but somewhere some smoke's been coming out or stuff like that and see the fault codes is and uh, there is no fault codes but we are gonna start the car now and let's where does this engine actually here you go the engine clicking okay and the patrick's uh, assistant will start our car so please patrick start the car and we see how this thing going to be run all right the car starts again this is a second start without a problem but the engine is shaking it's dropping as you can see it's shaking and we need to find out yes patrick do the pedal throttle make this engine jump out from this car and you can see we have a problem we have fuel injector cylinder one misfire and again the cylinder one so we have a problem but we solved the problem which one by the one the engine was not able to start so i think so stop the engine patrick's please thanks patrick's uh, for stopping the engine and definitely we have some problems with the engine but the problem was why the car came to us on the trailer because was not able to start it because the immobilizer system so this is how you can solve your problem with the immobilizer at the moment i would say thanks for watching and keep loving the bmw good luck see you in the next video bye bye